I decided to take a break from Freestyle Libre 2 and try the Dexcom G6 to monitor my blood sugar levels. And today I want to share with you the reasons why I am making this change. So if you are deciding between Freestyle Libre and Dexcom, you might want to watch this video. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom, I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. Guys, I want to talk with you about what exactly went through my head as I was deciding of switching from Freestyle Libre to Dexcom for a three month trial. Now you might say that these two systems are doing exactly the same thing. You have a sensor on your body that continuously monitors your blood glucose, you have a receiver or your phone that shows you 24 seven what your blood glucose value and blood glucose strength is. And both systems offer you customizable alarms that warn you when something goes wrong with your blood sugars or your sensor. And I would agree with you, they are very similar, but in many ways they are very different. And I want to look at those differences today. By the way, I'm not affiliated with Dexcom or Abbott, which is the company behind Freestyle Libre. I'm not a medical professional. On this channel, I just show my own view and my personal experience. So I started seriously thinking about switching to the Dexcom G6 after watching this video from Andrea, AKA she's diabetic. She said that for her, the G6 was way more accurate than Freestyle Libre. And so number one reason for me to consider the change would be accuracy. Let's see what Andrea had to say. Now, from my personal perspective, what is more accurate? Dexcom G6 all day long. I've dealt with a few CGM systems, but really these two are the only ones that I've spent a significant amount of time on. And the Dexcom G6 wins out for me over all those systems and not just a little bit, like a huge amount. Now to me, this sounded a little bit too good to be true because I've been quite happy with the Freestyle Libre accuracy and especially when talking about the second generation of Libre. So is the Dexcom G6 really so much better? I continued searching for more people who tried both Freestyle Libre and the Dexcom G6. This is Hannah. Sometimes they'll be pretty dang close, but at times where they're not and they're like more than 30 or 50 off from each other and I check myself, the Libre is always, always closer, if not like right on the money, you know? So Hannah seems to have had a completely opposite experience. For her, the Freestyle Libre was actually better and more accurate than the Dexcom G6. Well, which one should I listen to? I was asking myself and I decided to turn to science. As you know, the accuracy of a CGM is measured by mean average relative difference or MART. And to put it simple, the lower the MART is, the more accurate the CGM is. The Dexcom G6 has slightly better MART of 9.0% compared to Libre 2's 9.3%. 93.9% of the Dexcom G6 readings were within plus minus 20% difference of the actual blood glucose compared to the Libre 2's 92.4%. And these are data from clinical trials. So statistically, Dexcom G6 really seems to be a little bit more accurate. After having done some more research, I found out that the main reason why some diabetics might consider the Dexcom G6 way more accurate is because the Dexcom G6 really is more accurate when it comes to high blood sugars, especially when people are very high above their range. Another Dexcom strength seems to be the algorithm. And let's see what Camille, aka Nerdabetic, had to say about that. I definitely felt like Dexcom G6 was sometimes giving me readings from the future. So Dexcom G6 would say that I'm below target but not low but I was actually still in my target and then 20 minutes later I would actually be below target but still not low. That was quite interesting. So it seems that the G6 seems to predict the future glucose level and take them into account when showing you the readings. Now another advantage of the Dexcom G6 when it comes to accuracy is that you can calibrate it. And this is a standard functionality that the Freestyle Libre 2 doesn't have. Some of the Freestyle Libre models you can calibrate, 
but it's a DYI functionality and you need a third party transmitter to do this, like Mia Meow. More about Mia Meow in this video. Now the second reason for me to try the Dexcom G6 was that I will not need to scan it. And that's because the Dexcom G6 is a real time CGM that feeds the data from your sensor to the receiver every five minutes. With Freestyle Libre 2, I still need to scan every eight hours to collect all the data. And let's be honest, this is a bit annoying because if I miss this eight hour window, I'm just losing the data forever. Now, the third reason for me to try the Dexcom G6 was the apps and the integration with the insulin pump functionality. The Dexcom G6 integrates with two different pumps, the Tandem T-Slim X2 and the Omnipod tubeless patch pump. The Freestyle Libre does not integrate with any insulin pumps. Now I have Tandem T-Slim X2, so I will be able to connect the Dexcom G6 with the insulin pump. And for me, this is a huge differentiator. Because once I do connect my G6 with the insulin pump, I will be able to use the Control IQ functionality, which automates my basal insulin delivery, and I will have one less thing to worry about. Speaking of integration, the Dexcom G6 can connect directly to Apple Watch. And for me, this is very exciting because even in 2021, this is something that the Freestyle Libre apps still cannot do. Another Dexcom app that I'm really excited to try it out is Dexcom Clarity. And this is an app that's very popular amongst Dexcom users and seem to be superior to Freestyle Libre View when it comes to sending the reports from your sensor to your doctor and the doctor analyzing them. Dexcom Clarity is a clear winner here. It is incredibly well organized and hands down one of the best analysis tools for diabetics. Now now these were all reasons why to switch to the Dexcom G6, but there are also issues that I see with Dexcom G6 and I want to talk about them right now. Now issue number one is design and application. Let's have a look. So this is what this one looks like. In my opinion, visually I like this one better. It looks a little more modern and sleek and the tape on this one I just hate. I think the Dexcom sticks out a little bit more. And I totally agree with Hannah here. Freestyle Libre 2 really is way thinner than the Dexcom G6 and it looks way less medical. When it comes to application, the Libre is super easy and fast to insert. With the Dexcom G6, this seems a bit more challenging. You need to take off this orange thing from the applicator, type in the sensor code and put the transmitter in. And these are all extra steps when we compare the application process to Freestyle Libre, which clearly make the application of the Dexcom G6 last a bit longer. That looks huge. Oh, I'm scared. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. You got this, 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 you got this. You got this. Oh, no, I didn't feel it. Yes, Libre really has a bigger needle, but for most of the people, this is not a problem. And for me, this is not something that would impact my decision because the application, as you heard from Hana, is not painful at all. Unlike Libre, the Dexcom G6 is also approved for use in abdomen, so not only the upper arm. On the other hand, the Dexcom G6 warm-up time is two hours, so a little bit longer than the Freestyle Libre 2's one hour. Issue number two with Dexcom is the wear time. So the Dexcom G6 wear time is only 10 days. Freestyle Libre 2's wear time is 14 days. So by switching temporarily to the Dexcom G6, I'm really losing four days of the sensor wear time for every single sensor that I use. And issue number three that I have with Dexcom, for me it's not such a big issue, but for some people this might be the deal breaker and that's cost because the Dexcom G6 is way more expensive than the Freestyle Libre 2. In some countries, it is almost twice as expensive as Freestyle Libre. For me, this is all covered by insurance, no matter what sensor I use, so I'm really lucky in that respect. But this is probably something, if you're deciding to switch, that you might want to take into account. And here is the final verdict. Which one am I going to stick with? I'm going to stick with Libre. The Dexcom G6 wins out 1 million trillion bajillion percent. For me, the decision was not as easy to make as it might sound from some of the other videos that I played. I really see a lot of advantages and disadvantages for both 
and it really took me quite some time to decide to give the Dexcom G6 a try. But I really wanted to share with you all these points that I've been considering because I think they are really important to think about when you're deciding between the Dexcom G6 and the Freestyle Libre 2. Obviously each of these systems has their pros and cons and everyone is different, so pick the one that you like better. Me personally, I decided to give the Dexcom G6 a try for three months. I don't think it will be a trillion percent better, but I think it's worth giving it a try. By the way, let me know which team you are on right now. Are you on the Libre team or the Dexcom team? And if you had the chance to try the other sensor, would you give it a try? Let me know in the comments. And guys, if you want to learn about the Dexcom G7 that is coming later this year, check the video on the screen right now. By the way, I'll be sharing my experience with both Dexcom G6 and Dexcom G7 on this channel. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao!